Yeah, he's watching us. Shit. Why are we- Ew, That is horrifying. <coughs> Let's play Nine Child Sent Demo. <laughs> Sound box. Hello and welcome to Hula Who Plays Short Indie Horror Games uh, and Demos. Today I'm going to play a demo um, that uh, is already being recommended on Itch and it looks kind of interesting. I like the concept. I think ch children as horror protagonists, whether it's novels, movies, series, whatever, are always interesting because children are not as. Um, well, they, they, I think they accept things more easily, you know, that are just off. They accept it more and that's why they are more likely to survive. <laughs> because adults are like, I have to understand this. Otherwise, you know, it's just, I don't believe in it. And then they get killed by the demon because they were like trying to stab the demon. Anyways, so yeah, you play as a child who began to notice strange things in an abandoned house opposite in which an old toy creator lived. So the uh, opposite house, that's where the, the, it's the opposite house to where probably the child lives. And the child creator lived in the opposite house. Like, okay, just, you know, it's a confusing sentence. Anyways, and somehow at night, secretly from his parents, taking only flashlight, he decided to see what was happening in this house. I would say the developer is probably not mother tongue English. Just throwing that out there, but you know that shouldn't that shouldn't keep us from enjoying a game because pff, that sh rarely does. Okay, but as it should be in horror, it turns out that this place is fraught with a terrible secret. That uh, that really is as it should be in horror because it's well, it shouldn't be, but it it be a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It happens a lot in horror games. So let's uh, get this demo going. Wait. Yeah, it's the house opposite to our house. So yeah, but let's let's just start. I mean, the protagonist of our story was a very curious boy. He's about to turn nine years old. I mean, is a very German name. Is that a German game? After his birthday, he began to notice strange things happening in the abandoned house across the street. One night when he saw the light in the window, he finally decided to go to this mysterious house. All right, cool music. That's really, ooh, ho hopefully not licensed. <laughs> Post. But it's an American, it's an American letterbox. But it's a German, well, also in America they say post, right? Get into the house. Can I just... Oh my god, that's, okay, that's... That's kind of funny. Okay, can I jump? I can't jump. Oh, but I can... Am I on top now? How small or tall am I? Okay, there we are. This looks really good. Like, very, very cool. Yeah, it has this really realistic look to it. Ooh, that's very cool. Also, the way I move, you know, slightly leaning and stuff, it's kind of neat. Neat, neat, neat. Moving is also really smooth. So this is closed. So we have to go around the back, okay. Also, sorry, I'm not necessarily burping, but I get those, you know, when I drink too much coffee, then, well, it happens. It's also a thing when you talk a lot. Um, so, and I don't want a, a silent let's play, because I'm not a good enough player to do those, you know. You need to be really good at games to do non-commentary let's plays, that's just, and I, I'm not. Examine the room with light on the second floor. Oh, there's a there's a room where the light is on and I need to examine that. I'm really small. I mean, I'm 10 years old. Yeah, some kids are really small at 10 years old. That's the in I love that when you have school classes because there's like growth spurts, you know. Some kids grow very early on and others take ages. You can see the objective in the menu. 
yeah, I can, I can. Thank you, game. Um, and so sometimes you have classes, especially where like the girls have early growth spurs and then they're like towering over all the other kids and it's horrible for the girls because there's a lot of bullying because kids are they the kids can be real assholes like they always say that teenagers can be assholes and they can like i was one and i'm not proud of it but i think kids can also be really cruel okay so that's uh an angel that's a dog that looks dead okay and that's a family picture from the 80s or 70s as soon as I have more than that to ew who puts that in there ew that's disgusting like I'm you know I'm a I'm a huge horror fan but I would side eye if I were at someone's place and they have that on the wall not this this is, looks kind of I can make a I don't know what it is exactly but but this one I would be like ooh, what the what the fuck okay this looks like it was made directly for the game my let's play rules I get burpee and my nose starts to itch that's that's amazing yeah she also so is that our horrible family A lot of... What? Was that the sound that it didn't open? <laughs> oh, okay. That's the living room. Oh! TV is on. That was to be expected. After all, it's a horror game. They're here. Yeah, it's Poltergeist. Oh, so that opens the other way around. Oh, so maybe the other door also opened, but you know, just the- Oh, I could open closets. Interesting. But also how annoying. No, I can't open this one. Huh. It's the bathroom. I hope I don't have to hide. That's kind of cool. I like this. It's in general a very creepy house in a way. Like it has a certain, you know, it doesn't look messy. It looks more abandoned and that's what makes it creepy. Ha! Okay, I just stood directly in front of it. Oh, it's a... Where did that come from? Was that from the stairs? But I looked... Okay. Let's read this note. From Chelyabinsk uh, to London. Okay. Novorossiysk. Gaia Street. Hello Jack, I'm a longtime fan of yours and I really love your work. I would like to get an exclusive doll. Please answer. Are we in a creepy dollhouse? No. A doll maker house? What's with my flashlight? No. No, no, no. No. Don't you dare. Don't blink out on me. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like... No. Oh. Oh, I was already here. Okay. So let's get upstairs. Let's not waddle around. Hmm. That's a very unhappy child. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the picture. Like, they don't make sense. That's the thing. You have those family pictures, like very old fashioned stuff, and then you have those weird monster pictures. What's that? Pain away. Okay. Well, that was my shadow. And those are really weird, but creepy. They, I like those. Ew. I mean, yeah, I like those because they're super weird and, you know, make me feel uncomfortable. Also, that is... Okay, so someone's watching... Are they watching us? Hey! <laughs> oh, no! I was waiting for you. Shit. Oh, no. We're not looking into the coffin that says this is yours Andrew Toxic <laughs> I knew it was coming I that's that that's always me that's I know it's coming but jump scares you know they they will they will jump scare me it's just what it is. Okay. So Armin doesn't make it. Is it like uh, one of those demos where it's like the prequel? And then we're playing as, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Where did I come from? Um, as uh, like Armin's dad or whatever. Is that us already? <laughs> oh, that's new. How did I not see that? I always knew that children attracted me. No! No! They carry good in them. In my house and in me, this good has always been absent. Oh no. No. Oh god, no. I don't. Oh. Why can't it be just hide? I don't want to hide. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, he's watching us. Shit. Why are we- Ew! That is horrifying. Who would do that? Oh, that's a big doll that- Does it look like me? Hi. Yeah, life-size dolls, man. There's just something off about them. Call John tomorrow. No, call the police right now. And a music. Record. This is quite the like this game. This demo uses quite a lot of tropes. <laughs> Gotta say, creepy dolls. Music box. You know, the, the shadow jump scare. Oh no. Is that just the door being nailed? She yeah. But where did uh, the person go who nailed the chat? Oh no, I have to go this way. That will be another jump scare, right? Oh, it's not even... Oh, that's not outside. Okay. I mean, you to you, ball. Oh no, the music. Jump scare? Why did the music cut out? Also, is it normal in American houses to have so many entryways to to a house? Seems like a lot. Yeah, everything's nailed shut. So what am I doing now? Leave the house. Well, I would if I could, game. But everything's nailed shut. 
Can I turn this off? That is... Yeah, that's not a real remote. Control. They don't have, like, eight buttons and that's it. And you want to call yourself Super TV with eight buttons on the remote control? <laughs> I don't think so. Find the source of crying. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's probably the weird baby doll head. Right? Is that here? Yeah. So can I hide here? Okay, so it wasn't that room. Okay. I don't like this picture. Oh. Help us. The key is above the TV. Find the key. I've, I found it. It's above the TV. So I don't have to find it anymore, right? This is, it's funny, it, it really does its trick, like, I'm spooked out, you know, not gonna lie, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not pretending that this doesn't faze me, I'm, I'm scared, you know, ah, oh, this, this room, I hate this, you know what, an abandoned room, like this, you don't even have to have that graffiti, just that, you know, that, that whole setup without the graffiti is already creepy enough, because it's so derelict, it's so abandoned, I feel like you shouldn't be in a room like this. It's creepy on its own. There's nothing in those. Maybe when you play the full game, there will be stuff in the cupboards. Yeah, I know I said I pronounced it weirdly. Cup cupboards. Oh, uh, oh no. You creepy little shit. But what can a doll do? You know, I love Chucky, but I don't know if Chucky really is scary. Please live, she, f she turned nine. I built her a slide in the backyard. Steve is my new nine-year-old friend. In honor of this, I built a swing. Oh God. I need a what? I need a chair? What, did, what do I need? I don't reach, I need a chair, okay. I could just, come on. Come on, I mean, you can just shove that and then get... <sighs> so, I mean, is not really a solution, kid. It's more like, you know, not, not really into puzzles. So where can we find a chair? There. I'm just waiting for the next jump scare to get me. As much as I expect them, I'll just... Oh, it's red now. Whatever. It's already creepy enough. I don't need the red. There you go. Okay. Well, I wanna make it. I, I made my peace with that. I mean, I'm sorry that it, will, it won't happen. Oh, yeah, I saw that blue shirt so it's one of the original crew from Star Trek <laughs> did they wear blue shirts yeah they did right it was red shirts and blue shirts it's this funny thing where old people like I always say you know you you, you young kids probably won't remember this but then we now have streaming services so obviously they can remember this because they can watch all of it. Oh, come on. I'm going to die soon. It doesn't really make me sad. I want to do the last job. Connect the children so that they live peacefully. How do you connect them? Also, that was all for nothing. My great key. C 
collecting. Ugh. So what now? <laughs> oh, you cheeky. Oh, we're following the blood. Look, whoever is doing this, they're really swift. They should work in construction or moving, you know. They should have a moving company. They're amazing. Like, you don't hear them. They're so fast. Obviously very strong. A little bit unhinged, but who isn't these days? Whoop. Oh no, no, not the basement. How how does the how does he connect the children? I'm assuming it's a guy. It's, you know, I just because come on. <laughs> that was a little bit melodramatic. It took me a little bit out of it. So Armin had the dream. But soon Armin will go to- Oh, that's the game now talking. So that was the demo of Armin having the dream. But at some point Armin will go there. Armin takes some friends. This is kind of the, the stuff you do with friends. So you can all die. Together. <laughs> yeah, it's- uh, I mean, you know... <clears throat> played a few game demos uh, this year. And um, it's it's not really reinventing the wheel, the wheel. Well, maybe it's also not reinventing the wheel, but it's also not reinventing the wheel. And but it still works. It looks gorgeous. I think it, it does things. You know, it's nice. Um, this is one where the demo. I I really want to continue this. Like, if the full game is out, I will probably definitely try this out. Um, but it, a lot is at stake when it comes to the, the plot, like, um, because you don't really get a lot of the plot so far. And I would need more. Um, and you would need to know more about the background, um, the stories and everything, like how the plot will be forwarded. Because so far, the mystery, um, I don't know, I'm not really into pedophile villains. It's, uh, it's been overdone in everything. <laughs> And so that's, it's one of those things where I'm like, uh, I don't wanna, because, you know, give me, like, give me a demon, give me, um, give me a witch, you know, give me something, like, supernatural, I, I want that. Um, I don't, I'm, <laughs> but that's a personal thing, you know, where I'm like, I don't want a serial murderer, I want a, like, I want an outright supernatural vi villain, you know, I want someone who conjures up de devils and demons. I want a horrible witch, because those are so creepy. But, you know, that's something to be seen, how the, the full game then will tell the story. In general, it plays very smoothly. Um, the directing the character is very well done. Like, I didn't get lost. I didn't really, you know, and usually I do. Um, so I, al I always knew what to do and it led me quite well. So that was the, the design of the, the level design of this demo was well done. Um, the atmosphere is really good. Uh, as I said, it, it used so many tropes, but it still worked on me. So, you know, also kudos for that. Um, but yeah, I would, I think it's it's one of those things where I'm like, I will definitely try this out when it comes out. But I'm not excited, excited. As in, like, with the, the Mortuary Assistant, for example, or when I played the demo for Chasing Static, um, I was excited, excited, because it felt like something new and unique but we'll see um so far i still recommend it i will put the link to the demo in the liner notes so you can also check it out put it on your wish list and whatnot and also give some love to the de developers you know and also um if you have anything like you you found something that i missed or you disagree with something i said because i said a lot in this demo then you're welcome to argue discuss or just agree with me in the comments <laughs> And also, if you're new to this channel and you kind of enjoyed this, and you are like, yes, yes, I like my horror experiences narrated by an ongoing stream of consciousness, then, you know, you feel free to subscribe. And I promise you, I will, like, if, 
if you go through my abandoned house, I will not, I will not nail the doors and windows shut. You know, you can. I mean, you're you're a kid, you're adventurous, you're curious. <coughs> Please don't steal anything. But other than that, just you know, get out of my house. Basically, I mean, that's basically the gist. Like, if you break into my house, go around. I will not try to keep you in the house. I want you out of the house. So subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you soon. Bye-bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.